What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. We got ourselves a weakness policy, Zekron team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. And shout out to my boy Jacob for dropping this team. I cannot wait to get after it and try to get some wins with this team. But rocking out in our fun spot, starting off in that top left corner, we got the one and only Zekrom, the Pokemon we are trying to show off today. He's got Weakness Policy as his item and Terra Volt ability, which is his own signature ability. If you guys do not know what that does, it hits through ability. So he is able to hit through Levitates, Disguises, all that good stuff. Any abilities, he just ignores and he can roll through and do some work. He's got Thunderbolt for Stab, Dragon Pulse for Stab, Earth Power as his coverage move, and Protect as his final move. Right next to him, we got Spectre with the Grimnate ability, Focus Sash, and then Moveset of Shadow Ball for his hitting move, Calm for support mons, will o -Wisp for burns and physical attackers, and Bulldoze to slow down opposing Pokemon. In the bottom left corner, or not bottom left corner, behind my face cam, that's what I meant to say, we got Tapu Koko. And Tapu Koko is going to be amazing for this team considering we have three electric Pokemon, and this thing's rolling with the Electric Surge ability. We got Electric Siege for a stat boost for him, Thunderbolt for stab, Volt Switch to swap out, and for stab damage as well, and Dazzling Gleam with Protect. Right next to him, we got Regilecki with Transistor and Magnet, Thunderbolt, Electro Web, Volt Switch, and Protect. Just heavy on electric because we got a pretty decent electric team, and the electric surge is going to help do more damage. Bottom left corner is another great support mod for our team. We got Incineroar with Intimidate, Citrus Berry, Flare Blitz, Snarl, Parting Shot, and Fake Out. I absolutely love this Pokemon. We can drop physical and special attack with him, plus, we can get off a nice little Fake Out or Parting Shot and keep swapping in and out. And then in the final spot, we got Swampert. This Pokemon is awesome as well. Another nice physical attacker for this team. We got Liquidation. Ice Punch, High Horse Power, and Protect, Torrent Ability with the Leftovers. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a pretty hard team right here. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex, alongside with Urshifu, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Togekiss, and Regilecki. This team is very meta heavy right here, so hopefully we can pick up a win in our first battle. We got Zekrom. I'm really trying to show him off. We are actually almost done showing off all the new restricted mods. We have a few more. I haven't shown off Groudon yet, and I do not know why. That will probably be our next video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. I am going to lead the Zekrom alongside with the Spectre. We can actually proc weakness policy, I believe, with the Bulldoze, which is nice. Or we can just go in and start pestering with all that good stuff. Could bring in Incineroar for a fake out. Uh, who else do I want to bring in? I do want to bring in Ta Tapu Koko. Get those seeds in. Get the uh, electric terrain rolling. And then in the final spot, either... Do I go in Cinnamor? I could go Swampert. Swampert's not too bad here. Swampert isn't too bad, but I'm really just scared of that real boom. I, feel, I have a feeling he's definitely bringing in that real boom. So who would I rather go? In Cinnamor or... I think in Cinnamor might come in clutch a little bit more. We do have the Tapu Koko. I don't think we need another big attacker with Tapu Koko and Zekrom. So I feel like in Cinnamor could be nice. But Swampert could have been a nice little option. But again, I believe he's going to bring that Rolboom. Rolboom's very, very good because he gets a first turn priority. He's able to roll out from there. But hopefully we can pick up this one. I really want to try out the Zekrom. This is actually like my first time ever using Zekrom. It's crazy. It's crazy. Black and White, I actually did skip. But then I played later. Like I, like I went through playing all Pokemon games. And I played Gens 1, 2, 3, 4. Skip Gen uh, 5. Played 6, 7, 8. And then went back to Gen 5. I guess I just missed it. I guess I just grown out of Pokemon that came back to it. But Zekrom's over here with Terrible over here, which is gorgeous. He's going to intimidate me. A little buttery biscuit. It's fine. We're going to proc policy. we proc and policy. I am physical attacking, right? I believe I am. I mean, I have... Oh, no. I'm special attacking. Okay, that's gorgeous. That is lovely. I'm going to Dynamax and we get after... We could Quake get a special defense boost and just take out Regilecki, no problem. Or would I rather have Incineroar gone? I mean, who can he swap into that's really going to eat up a Mexican? Does he really swap Togekiss in here? There's, I just don't see that happening, right? Hmm. I am going to take out this Regilecki. I'm going to take out the Regilecki, and I am going to just pull those. I guess play, yo, dude, that's super effective against everybody. And we are going to get a special defense boost here. Here goes my Dynamax. Let's get rolling with that. Might just try to party shot on me. We'll, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. But we're going for this uh, weakness policy proc. And then we can just have Spectre out here. He throws out another physical attacker on the Regilecki slot. We can just burn it up. Or I can taunt. I can do a lot here. But Zekrom looks so dope. So giant wings. He's looking amazing. I really do like his design. 
He's gonna fake out. Yeah, yo, try to fake out my Dynamax. Come on, get out of my face, dude. Electro Web coming out here. He's gonna slow us down. We're gonna be able to eat up all day. And we're gonna say bye bye to uh, Regilecki all day. Regilecki's gonna be gone. We are getting a speed drop, which I really don't like, but still, I think we're fine with this one. Boulder's gonna pop out here. And we are gonna get a special defense boost, which is pretty decent as well, too. At least we dropped their speed, too, but still, we're still minus two now. Kind of stinks. That's the only thing that stinks about Bulldoze, is it lowers your speed. There you go. We can policy dropping out, and we're going to say bye-bye to Reg Lecky for first turn KO. This little first turn. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Reg Lecky ain't eating this. Get him gone. Get him gone. Okay. We got that out the way. Hopefully he throws out a special attacker. It'd be really, really nice. Or if he throws out a physical attacker, I might just swap Spectre. Or I'd rather burn first. And then get out uh, my Incineroar. Let's see, what are you gonna do? Well, either way, we're, I, I, I'm liking where we're sitting. We are plus one on that special defense. He's gonna probably Dynamax whatever Pokemon he throws out. And then he does have speed advantage as well, which is, mm, I don't really like. But I do have Warm Wind to lower physical attack as well, which is really nice. And it is stab. I could set the terrain, but the terrain won't really do anything until my top of Coco comes out here. So the Siege can proc it. We'll just give my, myself a. An electric boost and damage. But let's see what you're gonna do, kind sir. Make a move. Oh, he's thinking. He, he doesn't know who to put out. He doesn't know who to put up, put out. We got him rattled. We got him rattled here in battle number one. He's gonna go with who you got? We go with Robin. Okay. All right, I'm gonna burn him. I'm totally gonna burn him, and I'm gonna get after that uh that instant war with a warm one. I'm just gonna start lowering physical attack. Let me burn that boy. We burn him. The worm win over onto you. And then I'm just gonna will us into the building. And I could change up the terrain after this too, but hopefully they just go after Spectre and roll from there. He might take out my Spectre. He might go for that. Oh he's not. He's just gonna go for oh no grassy. I thought he was gonna go for pick out. Spectre eat. Do not eat. You biscuit, man. You biscuit. That's okay. Incineroar's gonna go for what's it? oh no, we outspeed, which is wonderful, so we get that attack drop. Then I'm gonna bring out my Incineroar. Which is going to be awesome. You're dead. I'll get that attack drop on Robum, so then he'll be minus two. And he cannot swap out now, which is huge. So I don't even have to worry about Robum. I really don't have to worry about Robum at all. If I have a minus two, I won't have to worry about him at all. That is gorgeous. That is lovely. Where do I get a Coco? I would like Coco, but this is the play. This is the play. Because he's going to Dynamax the other mod, so I can just fake out Robum. And go from there. Or I can just Flare Blitz to take him out. No problem. And who is he going to throw out? Show me a physical attacker. Show it to me. It's going to be Spectre. All right, so we are plus one on special defense, which is lovely. And I think I just go... I think I just go into a Snarl and lower his special attack. That might be the play. I think that's the play. I think that's 100% the play. I could boost my defense again, but I can change up the terrain. Whatever really I want to do. But I say I go here, and instead of faking out, I just say I get after this. And I just snarl him. Actually, that's policy propping. I could party shot. I am going to party shot. And get back out my what's called. Wait, let me lightning. Yeah, I'm going to lightning over onto you. This is my play. I'm going to lightning over onto Spectre, and I am going to party shot out. And uh, get in my top of Coco with Electric Surge. I think, I think that's going to be a play. Because he's definitely going to Dynamax and try to try to roll out. And I don't want to proc that weakness policy with the special uh, with the special attack drop. Like Snarl, dude, it wouldn't do a lot of damage. And I would just give, be giving him a chance to stay in this match. But I'd rather just party shot out here instead of faking out. I think that's a better play. Because, again, I'm not worried about the problem. It's minus two right now. But it's just sitting at minus two as a physical attacker. And that is just huge for us. Let's see what play he's going to make. He's probably going to glide again. He's just going to protect. Alright, waste his turn there. He thinks we're gonna fire butts into him. Lovely. This Incineroar outspeed. It is not. And Phantasm is gonna pop out here. Go after Zekrom. Thank you very much. Zekrom eats. Lovely. Incineroar should be faster than him. We are minus two on speed. Defense is dropping on both of us, but that's totally fine. Oh, and that thing's life It's not even policy. Okay, beautiful. We could have went for a Snarl, but Parting Shot actually works out better for us, to be honest. It's gonna make my Zekrom do a little bit more damage here. Make him just do a teensy bit more. I'll be able to get out Coco. And everybody loves a nice little Coco. But not bad battle for us. We got we got Zekrom Dynamax in first turn. Got two KOs back to back. And now we're rolling out here pretty strong. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. We played this one pretty smart. But I'm starting to learn to swap a little bit more and play a little bit more defensively, which I really, really like. 
It is. I think it is showing off because we are winning a lot more battles than we used to. Here goes my electric seeds. We get the nice little defense boost. And here goes our lightning. The, the terrain is going to help it do a little bit more damage. And we're just going to... Oh, we do not KO that. We do not KO that. That one's a close one. That's a close one. Is he legit on one? Coco should be able to outspeed. And I should just be able to uh, drop a uh, T-Bolt. But it's not going to be very effective. So I'd rather just go for Dragon Pulse over onto you. And then just be able to Dazzling Gleam. He's legit on one. He, he just survived on one. Get out of my face. Get him out of here. <laughs> but if Spectre does outspeed my uh, Tapu Coco, then he's just going to die to life for damage. And we got this one pretty much wrapped up. Let's go, guys. Solid start for today's video. Dominating with an awesome battle here. Played this one perfectly, to be honest. Let's see what he's going to do. Make a play. Good thing I did bring in that incident war. Definitely clutched up because Rillaboom definitely poses a threat. Let's say I had a uh, Swampert over, over incident war. He could just grass and glide in one. Good call by me in the beginning there. He's gonna max guard. Okay. That, that does nothing. That's your last chance right there. It's for your boy to eat up. It's for your boy to, to take out one of my Pokemon. But we're gonna be able to get off a Dazzling Gleam. And then this thing's gonna go for a Wood Hammer, which should be easy eats. Yeah. Not very effective against minus two. Still did a decent amount of damage. He takes a recoil, and Dragon Pulse should be able to come out here and pick up the KO, because we are plus two. Get him! Big old Dragon Pulse, baby. Get him out of here, yo, dude. Zekrom's dominating. He hits like a truck after we just policy's proc. He's just killing it. He's just killing it. Come out here. I can just uh, drop a T-Bolt. And I can just drop another Dazzling Gleam. GG's. GG's just canceled the battle, my dude. Let's go. 1 0 to get started. We can hop through our second battle now. Try to get a win streak rolling with this team. Looking to go back to back here. Going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with Torkoal and Chlorophyll Venusaur. We got to bring in Incineroar here for that Intimidate drop. Because he is physical attacking. And, but, hmm, but he does have Thunderous. Which kind of scares me because that's Defiance. Maybe we might not bring in Incineroar. And just bring in Spectre and roll out with a Will-O-Wisp. But then Incineroar is so good though. I'm going to go Zekrom and Spectre in front spot. Maybe we can prop policy and roll from there. And then who else do I want to bring? Do I want to bring Swampert? I feel like Swampert could be decent. Kind of covers that, uh, that Thunderous. Thunderous can't hit him with electric moves. And he can do work on that Torkoal. Then in the final spot, do we go Regilecki? I don't like Regilecki here. I'm kind of liking him. But I do like Incineroar as well. But I do not want to proc that Defiant. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I mean, he really he has two physical attackers. He really only has one. So I'm going to go I'm gonna go Regilecki here. I'm going to get buzzing with Regilecki. Try to do some work. Because if I can get him out there, and I can set terrain by myself with Zekrom. Because he's probably going to be my Dynamax mom. Hopefully we can uh, proc policy and roll out strong. Because I don't really see... The only thing I see that's going on is going to be that Venusaur maybe put me to sleep. And I'm kind of scared of that. He goes Torkoal and Venusaur. I got to make a decision whether to go. Yeah, he's going to go Torkoal and Venusaur. So I got to make a decision whether to Dynamax here and Bulldoze. Or just go for a taunt on that Venusaur. I might, I might protect and try to taunt that Venusaur. That terrible bopping out here. Do I really think he's going to go for a sleep powder? I might protect and then try to roll out with that. Uh, I think that's going to be the play. I think I protect and try to roll out with this uh, with this taunt. I really cannot afford to uh, to put my Zekrom to sleep. So hopefully he doesn't Dynamax here. Hopefully he just goes for a sleep powder. Let's see what he does. Go ahead. Go for a sleep powder. And go, go after my Zekrom. Do not go after my Spectre to slot. What are you going to do, kind sir? I could have just let Tapu Koko if I was thinking straight. I could just let Tapu Koko so the Electric Surge wouldn't allow me to put it for him to put me to sleep. But hopefully he doesn't Dynamax here. I really do not hope he Dynamaxes that Venusaur. Hopefully he just stays still, goes for what, exactly what I want him to do, and we make a huge read and get started on this battle strong. So that, I think he's thinking about doing that instead of Dynamaxing. He's going to withdraw Torkoal. Okay, so not a bad turn here. He's going to withdraw Torkoal, and he's going to get out Clefairy here. And he's going to Dynamax this turn. But he's going to stay. He's just going to stay. Go for a Sleep Out on my Zekrom. Go ahead, do it. I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm over on Spectre. Okay. I'm actually fine by that. I'm actually so fine by that. He might swap next turn. We are going to be able to get off the Taunt on that thing. I thought he was going to go for a Sleep Powder, so that's fine. That's totally fine. I am going to Dynamax you now. And I am... Do I set Terrain? Turn 1? I don't see... Let me see that Venusaur stat. What's it drop? Special attack? It should be dropped like... Yeah. Okay, so he's not, he's not a problem at all. He's taunted too. 
I can totally see him uh, swapping. Uh, who can I see him swapping into? Maybe back into the Torkoal. I'm just going to go after his Clefairy. Try to get rid of this thing. I'm going to max Lightning. And I am going to actually throw a Burn over onto... Actually, no. I got a Bulldoze. I got a Bulldoze. Slow them down and get one from there. Doesn't have any first turn priority moves, so we should be fine. I'm getting this Bulldoze off and triggering Policy. He's definitely going to swap the Venusaur. He can't Sleep Powder. He already went for a Leaf Storm. He's minus two. I can totally see him swapping into whatever he wants to do. And then maybe this Max Lightning take him, him out. And then once Spectre is done, we can roll out into uh, Regilecki. This Regilecki is going to be able to do big damage with that Magnet item. And the terrain that's, gonna, that's about to be buzzing. The big boy Zekrom getting the Dynamax. And I, I wish he was going to go for the Sleep Powder on my Zekrom. And then we just taunted him. That would have been a phenomenal read. But Fairy's going to protect. Oh, you looking good. That was a smart play. Fairy protects here. And what are you going to go for? He's going to go for an Earth Power. E. Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that. He how he's outspeeding me. The smart play by him, he takes out my Spectre. Dang, yo, now our policy's not procced. Venusaur's Life Orb. He's minus two. It's fine. We able to drop the slanting, and I'm going to be able to get out Regilecki. And in that case, I'm just going to start Worm winning over. Actually, I can't Worm win. I cannot go for a Worm win, considering if he goes for the follow me, then I, then I don't do much. Let's get out. Well, I could get out Swampert. Swampert's not bad. But then another Leaf Storm will just take me out. Let's get out Regilecki. He does still have his Dynamax. He still has Torkoal. But I'm not really too worried about the Torkoal. Not worried about Torkoal one bit. Which I want to go for one win. I'm just going to Lightning on this thing. I could Electro Web. Or I could T-Bolt. I'll double up in the Clefairy slot. I'm not playing around. We're trying to get rid of this thing. No way you swap Clefairy, and if you do, whatever Pokemon, I don't, I don't think really he's gonna take the shot too, too well. Try to swap the Venusaur. Yet. Might just be trying to wait out a Taunt. What are you gonna do? He is Orbed. He's gonna witch all the Venusaur now. That's silly fine. And he's gonna go back in Torkoal. You just show his Calyrex. So Wormwind's gonna have to come out here next turn. He is Ice, which is very, very scary. I do not like that at all. So hopefully we can take out this Clefairy right here, right now. I'll have to go home. Do some big damage to him. Thunderbolts come out here. Yes, Max Lightning should be able to pick up the KO, which should be wonderful. Right, so drop that thing. Get him out of here. All right, so he's gone. I can Electro Web and then Worm Wind. And I think that's probably going to be the play. Considering to slow these Pokemon down. Get a minus one attack drop onto that Calyrex. I do not have my Spectre anymore to be able to uh, put a Will-O-Wisp on him. I'm going to Worm win. And then I'm just going to Electro Web here. Hopefully he's not rolling Sleep Powder. Because now his taunt's gone because he swapped in and out. He can go for another Leaf Storm. But we're both Electro types. So we should be able to eat that up decently well. Let's see. What are you going to do? And I think he's just waiting for that Torkoal to get in the back end. But I'm fine with that Torkoal. As long as his Venusaur's not here. But the Venusaur is scaring me. This one's going to be close. Because he has that Calyrex to do some big work on my Zekrom. As long as I can just start minusing his attack, it can be pretty good. But if he picks up an early KO here, then he gets that Grimnay boosted. Oh no, he's Dynamax and Venusaur. Okay. Alright. Dynamax and Venusaur. I, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of this thing, though. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of this Venusaur. Don't protect the Calyx. Do not protect them. He's going to go for a Max Quake. He's going to get a special attack boost, which is huge. He's going to take out my Resolecki. Mm. Yeah, this one's not looking good for the boys back home. Not looking good, because he can just Vine Lash me now. I do have Ice Punch in my Swamper, but he can just Vine Lash me and do some mean damage onto me. He's just going to take some Life Orb damage. And he's, if we don't KO this thing here, we're not Policy Proc, which kind of stinks. But yeah, I knew we didn't, we're not going to KO. And he's going he's gonna to do big damage to me. He's going to proc my Policy, which is going to be pretty nice. But then he's just going to KO me next turn, probably with a Quake. Let's see what he does. Because for a Trick Room. He does go for a Trick Room. Okay. That was kind of smart because Drought should be ending now. I'm going to get Swampert out here. If Drought doesn't end, I kind of like where we're sitting. How many turns left? I think I think Drought might end. He might have rolled out at a nice time. Show me Drought's still here. Show me Drought's still here. I think it might. I think it has one more turn. But what's called might be fastest. Calyrex should be fastest. Venusaur should be slowest. I drop an Ice Punch over on the Venusaur. Try to do as much damage as I can. I think I'm going to do that right here, right now. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. 
He might guard. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna protect. He's definitely gonna try to take me out with the Calyrex here. Calyrex gonna go for a high horsepower. Yeah. A nice block there. Ice punch should be able to roll out. Do a little bit of damage. And is he gonna go for that Vine Lash? Yeah. Okay, so Swampert's dead. Swampert's dead, man. He's gone. <laughs> He's dead. And yeah, Venus, that Venus versus eat me up. Should have brought in the Incineroar. Should have brought in the Incineroar, but I was definitely I was too scared of that uh, Defiant Pokemon. Sunlight fades. That's gonna be GG's. That is gonna be GG's. Vine Lash is gonna chip us up, and another high horsepower should take us out. He has minus one though. He has minus one, but he still has one more Dynamax turn. Hmm. Guess we'll go for a Dragon Pulse over on the Venusaur. I need him to maybe miss or hit the high horsepower we eat. But then we don't outspeed this thing. Anymore. Yeah, and this thing's just a signature move that's gonna just dump on us. We're gone. Giant ice sword stabbing us to death. Bye, Zek Rom. Thanks for coming. GG's one and one. We can have to our third and final battle now and at least try to get a winning record for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're looking for that winning record for the genies online gamma community, baby. Looking for it for you guys going up against a Necrozma team alongside with Sensor Scorch. That is pretty dope. You never see a Sensor Scorch. And who is that? Throw right there? Or is that the other guy? I forget. I get their names uh, mixed up at the bottom. But he's got some cool Pokemon. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Um, Who should I roll out with? How should I play this one? You just have Celesteela and Indeedee with Surge. I don't think I bring in Cinnaroar. I just don't think he does too too much here. I think I definitely go Zekrom. We're trying to show him off. Plus, he's an absolute beast for the team. I kind of want to lead Spectre again. I think Spectre is just a solid lead. Is the Kurosma physical? I believe the Kurosma is physical. So that would be nice. Um, who else should I roll? Definitely gotta bring in an electric Pokemon. We do have Zekrom, but I gotta bring in another one. Do I bring Coco or Regilecki? Hmm. I don't want to bring Coco. He does hold that fairy type for that fighting Pokemon down there. And I am gonna bring Swampert as my final mom. I think we're thriving with this. I think I like this. I think I like where we're sitting. I think I'm liking this a lot. But Necrozma is going to be that one Pokemon that is going to be his tough guy that wants to take that out. We should be fine with it. But hopefully I can proc policy here. I don't really think I have to think too much about this battle. Like the last battle was like, okay, is Venus going to sleep powder? What's he going to do? I think this one's going to be pretty straightforward. We can proc policy, turn one and roll from there. He's going to go in DD and Regilect. Okay. I'm 100% fine by that. Spectre and Zach gonna come out here. We can easily set up this uh bulldoze. Rocker policy and take out Is he gonna go for a follow me? That's gonna be a real question. Is he gonna go for a follow me? Or do I drop a uh I would love to drop a quake and take out the Regilecki. I would I would honestly love that. But I honestly love that. So I am going to go for that. Hopefully he doesn't go for a follow me. We are going to go for that. With, or not with us. The bulldoze. Slow down everybody. And we are going to try to get this quake. Because if we can hit this quake on the Magic Lucky, That's going to be a KO and a special defense boost. But and then if you follow me. Then we still get a special defense boost. But we're not going to really KO in deep. But he might try to set up screens. That might be his play. That might be his Magic Lucky. Just trying to set up screens. Rolling from there. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. And if he does go for a follow me, I mean, I guess next turn we'll try to set the terrain if we want. Just go for a follow me. Mm. Knew I should have went into the thunder. Knew I should have went into the max lightning. But let's see. He's going to set up screens. The reflect coming out here with special attack. It's going to be pretty nice. We're going to get a special defense boost, which I really like. I don't think we're going to be able to pick up KO, but maybe a Shadow Ball next, next turn can pick up the KO for them. The Spectre is faster than uh, everybody here now. 200 speed, everybody else is minus one. That's lovely. That is lovely. Screens are going to get set up next turn as well. We are both special attacking. That's totally fine. Quick is going to roll out here. Get after it, baby. Get after it. Boom. Doing a little bit. Doing decent amount. The big part is that special defense boost, so we're going to be able to eat up decently well here. Now we're plus two in both attack and plus one on special defense. And then now I can go into... Got one win. I think I can quick again. I think quick's our best option. I could Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball has no effect. Mm. What do I want to do here? And I'm going to try to taunt you. I mean, no, because he's just going to... If he goes for another follow me. I might swap. I think I get a free swap in here. Into Coco? Or into Swampert? Swampert's not a bad swap. 
But I think I'd rather get out Coco here. I'm gonna get a free swap into Coco. That's gonna be my play. Get a free swap into Coco. Get the Electric Surge popping. I'll put my Zekrom for his final turn. And is he gonna go for another follow me? There's my seeds though. My nice little seeds get a defense boost. And he's gonna go for another follow me. So we'll be able to take out Indeed here. He's gonna be able to get off two screens. Nothing to get off that light screen. Actually, will this be able to KO him? If not, Coco outspeeds him and he's gonna be able to gleam and finish off that. And we should be able to take out two of his Pokemon with our Dynamax. Hopefully it's KOs. It does not. It leaves it on one. Bro, what you mean? Okay. I'm kind of fine with it. I guess. I guess. But we'll take out Regilecki. No problem here. Regilecki, you're gone. And I will get another boost on special defense. Which is huge. We're going to be plus three in special defense. So we're really, really bulking up here. We're really bulking. Top of Coco should be able to take out NDD. No problem. We're just a helping hand before it goes out. Totally fine. Totally fine. Unless he's trying to take out my Coco. Now, Coco outspeeds. Let's get it. There goes the Ndidi gone. And Regilek is going to go down. So if he brings out special attackers here, we could be thriving. We could be thriving so much. He's going to Volt Switch. Oh, who are you Volt Switching into? You know I'm going for that Quake. You know I'm going for that Quake. Does, does he have any flying Pokemon? Does he have any Pokemon with flying? He's going to go throw. Okay. He's going to go throw. Which I'll be able to do some nice damage to. And I do have Gleam ready for him. I have Gleam ready for him. So I'm not too worried about him. Special Defense is boosting. He showed his, uh... He showed another Pokemon. We do nice damage to it. Gleam should be able to take that out. No problem. And then whatever Pokemon over here on plus two. Hopefully it's a his final mod special attacking, like I've been saying. A huge M oh. Oh no, I was gonna say, how do we get a burn? But he is guts. He's guts. Okay. I'm chilling with that. I might protect my Zekrom this turn. Who's gonna go into here? We go Necrozma. Hmm. That's looking a little scary. That's looking a little scary. So we're definitely gonna gleam. Um, how should I roll off from here? Good earth power. I think policy could be. I think Thunderbolt might be our best bet. Let me try to get it paralyzed. And we're just gonna gleam. Let's run it. Let's run it. We still have Spectre in the back end, which I could potentially put off a nice little burn here. Intimidate wouldn't have done anything on this thing anyway because of its full what is it, full metal body? That's his ability. Like doesn't take no stat drops. You know wide guard. Oh, you smart little cookie. Okay. Nice little wide guard. There's no way you go for a double wide guard. We think he wide guards next turn. He both can come out here. We do a decent amount of damage to this thing. Yes, sir. And what's the Oh, we get the paralyzed. Oh! Love to see it. He's gonna roll a trick room now. Okay, so now that he rolls a trick room, uh. How do I play this one? Burn is gonna tick away a little bit on him. And I could protect. I could double protect. I really could. Curse is probably gonna Dynamax. I don't think I double protect. I think I. I T bolt and I, uh. Yeah, double T-Bolt. He goes for a wide guard. But he's going to be able to hit me decently hard here. There goes a Dynamax by Nick Krosmer, right? Okay. Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. I kind of just need to take out one of his Pokemon. I really do. He's going to Dynamax throw. You crazy, man. This dude's Dynamax and throw. I'm not worried about the Regilecki in the back. We have Swampert. The Crows was paralyzed. Yo, huge. That's huge right there. That's huge. Quake's coming out here. Who are you going after? Who are you going after? Zekrom, Zekrom, me. Not a chance. Not a chance to eat up there. Okay. Will T-Bolt be able to pick up this KO? That's my real question. He takes out my Zekrom. And he's getting a special defense boost. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't like this one bit. T-Bolt, KO. Ah, that thing's eating. That thing's eating. Burn's going to take away a little bit. Um, I guess Spectre. I do have full health. I could eat up a shot. Or I can just go Swampert, but I really don't want Swampert just going out to just oh. No, I am gonna bring out Spectre. I do have a Shadow Ball, which is super effective. I gotta go for the gleam. I'm gonna go for the gleam and I am gonna go for Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, baby. I get rid of this Nick Krozma. And I am gonna try to gleam. Or I can protect. Gotta waste turn. 
That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect here. See if I can eat up this quake. That coming out. Getting after it. Getting after it. The Christmas goes for a Sun Seal strike. That's fine. That's a signature move, yo. This is gonna be looking dope. Oh my lord. Yo, that looks so sick. Make sure his sash is popping here. I know he's gonna go for the quake. Right? You're gonna go for the quake, right? Yep, over to Coco. Coco, can you eat? Can you eat up, please? Coco, eat this. Good deck. Love you. Love you, Coco. So we're wasting out these Dynamax turns. The Crows must should be going down here. Which is lovely. Again, I'm not worried about that red select. I just need to double up in the throw here. Here's my Shadow Ball. Take him out, please. Take him out. Get him out of here. Oh, we don't KO. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. That hurts. That hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. <laughs> That hurts the soul. It really does. I don't think we got this one now. I'm gonna go for another Shadow Boy. I guess I'll Gleam. I guess I'll Gleam. Be paralyzed, Necrozma. Need you to be paralyzed. When it comes down to a 3v1, I do have Earthquakes. I do have Earthquakes, don't I? Aren't I rocking EQ? With the Swamper, I might be, I might not be. Necrozma is paralyzed, so we are getting off a shot. He's gonna go out. He's gonna go for another Max Quake. He's gonna boost his special defense. Hopefully Spectre can at least KO this Necrozma. We're gonna really need it here. I don't know, Necrozma's gonna go what, plus three. The throws Dynamax turns are all over now. Let's see what he does. Let's see what the play is. Come on, take him out. Please take him out. Please take him out. Yes. Okay, Necrozma gone. He has Regilecki. We have Spectre. Throw's the problem. Throw is going to be the problem all day. Grimnade boosting. Our stats are boosting up. Uh, I can't protect. Just have burn start uh, dropping this guy a little bit. Oh, but we do not have EQ. We have high horse power. I think he's going to be like, yo. He's probably praying it's not Swamper. Probably like, no Swamper, no Swamper. There's no way this Regilecki can kill my Swamper. Not a chance. Okay. Uh, what is going to be the play here? Play is going to be take out throw, 100%. Gotta get rid of him. I mean, I guess we'll go for a Shadow Ball. I guess we'll double up in the throw. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Might wide guard think I'm going for an EQ. But his throw has to get after me. I could have protected because I think now Chuck Room has one more turn. Actually, it might be done after this. Maybe should have protected this turn. His throw can still hit really, really hard. Let's see what his play is. Because he is guts. He's guts up, man. He's going to go for a superpower. Eat this up. Bumper eats. That is lovely. I think I think that's just one of the game. I think that's just one of the game. His liquidation comes out. Picks up the KO. And I believe Regilecki can't do anything to us. Right? Am I correct? Because he, re he has Reflect Light Screen. And he has to have Electric Moves, right? Shadow Ball comes out. Shadow Ball is plus one right now. And Shadow Ball is just going to pick up the KO. Yo, GG, let's go. That was looking tough in the end. It was looking tough in the end, but we ended up pulling it out with Swampert in that back end. I'm glad we were able to get that winning record for today's video. I really did enjoy this team. Zekrom was definitely a cool Pokemon to show off. And shout out to my boy Jacob for actually leaving this for us to use. It was awesome. Zekrom dominates once you get his weakness policy set. And then you got some back end Pokemon like Swampert to clean up the mess. And Tapu Koko and Regilecki to thrive under that electric surge alongside with Zekrom. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going across the channel. Make sure you guys spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.